Hello, hello everybody. Welcome. This is going to be a very bootleg and a short edition of the program. Uh, I was not able to configure my soundboard, so instead of waiting another 30 minutes and trying to figure that out, uh, I figured I'd go live. Can you guys hear me? Check. chat here to load, and then we can get started. Here we go. We are now loaded, and we will begin in earnest, Jury Friday. Uh, normally, what happens is I play a song, then I play the theme song, then I describe what coffee I'm drinking, and then we go into the news. However, this is going to be a bit of a different episode because I am not, as you can see, in my house. I am somewhere else. In fact, I am in... Oakland, historic Oakland, California, high above Lake Merritt, which may or may not be named for Tom. Uh, but this is, in fact, his old apartment, which means I am staying with Brett the Amtrekker Roundsville, who is sleeping literally feet from me. He was gracious enough to let me into his room because, quote unquote, the internet's way easier to steal from my desk. God damn it if he isn't right. Uh, so, yeah, normally I have a whole setup, and normally there's a whole progression, and normally we can kind of build up and and do the show in earnest in the way that we have done it for the past couple weeks. And I promise you this, if, if uh, you know, I'm ever on the road doing this again, I will have a solution uh, for this fixed out. However... Um, this will not be that week, and, and I don't know even how long this episode is going to, uh, last, just because, you know, like, I don't know how much I just want to, like, you know, we can, we can talk here, it's fine, it's just me and you, I mean, that's normally what the show is anyway, but, um, you know, I haven't really hold, done a whole lot of show prep, and without the music to kind of fill in, uh, you know, resetting stuff up, there's just going to be a lot of me kind of doing this, like, uh... Let me get that in there. Um, so, do you want to... Hold on, let me try and do one thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, the chat's buggy and everything. So, um... Here's pretty much the only thing uh, I want. I'll, I'll talk about two things, and uh, and then we can kind of wrap it up. We'll do all political bets. We'll save for for next Friday. Next Friday we will clear up all the political bets. Um, we'll talk about any and all news that there are. But I, I do want to talk to you guys about two things that I, I thought about last night. Um, we'll get to in, in a second why I am out here. Um, but. Things that I am doing while I'm out here, uh, Twit on Sunday. Check me out on Twit. That's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty fun. I think I'm on with uh, the one and only Om Malik, who I was actually on with last time, um, and Dwight Silverman. Who's Dwight Silverman? Well, he's the technology tech blogger, columnist, blog editor at the Houston Chronicle. 
and the co-host of the Technology Bites radio show. So, boom, in your mouth. How dare you question Dwight Silverman and his credentials. So they will be uh, on the show, and so will I, which really says more about their credibility than mine, because I'm an idiot. Um, another thing that happened was last night, me and uh, me and Brett wound up going down to the San Jose Sharks hockey arena, which is called the HP Pavilion. They were playing the St. Louis Blues. At the time we walked in, the series was 2-1 St. Louis. By the time that we walked out, it was 3-1 St. Louis. They have a stranglehold going back to the Midwest where they're going to have a chance to clear it out. Uh, I don't want to make this into a talk about sports because I know a lot of people just really don't care about sports. So, I will say the one thing that was I've never seen at a sporting event before. And I've been to a lot. And I've, I've been to a bunch of hockey games. But I've never seen the kind of hockey hipster, the likes of which I saw last night. It was unique. It was something that I had never, I had never come close to seeing before. And I know that, like, it's its own breed now. I know, like, Deadspin has uh, the look at this fucking hoopster thing where you, it's just a bunch of people, a bunch of hipster kids wearing, like, old, outdated basketball jerseys. But this is at a sporting event, and these guys were into it. They were, like, super fans of a team. And they just happened to be hipsters. They just, these guys just... All right, and let me, let me explain. What do I mean when I say... A hockey hipster. What exactly does that entail? The guy that I first saw is really just a work of art. Just amazing. Number one, you could smell him before you saw him. This dude reeked. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> let's just say that when you uh, hotbox your Volkswagen Jetta in a hockey jersey and dreads and a knit cap and a scarf, a lot of surface area to suck it in lot of surface area. So you nudge him, you know, just a little bit and the the scent just released and kind of, you know, permeated the HP pavilion. Uh so he's wearing a teal knit cap. This dude is all in shark gear. Like he is he's super into this playoff push. He's all like, you know, and he, He's naming names. He, uh, he's got, you know, Couture and uh, Pavelski and Thornton. You know, he's 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 he knows his stuff. Teal knit cap, two teal. And I, I don't I don't presume to know enough exactly what the number would be, but gauge spacers in his ears. A black and teal scarf, right? But then here's the beautiful part. This is the, the real, real, real beautiful part about this guy, this hockey hipster, all right? He's wearing a jersey, and he's bought playoff tickets, him and his girlfriend. His girlfriend, by the way, wearing uh, stretchy teal and black tights. He's not wearing a Sharks jersey. Not at all. Everybody else, Sharks jersey. Him? No. Not so much. Because this is a hockey hipster. And he wants to stand out. He wants to show everybody that he has a unique sensibility. He is not he is non conformist in a traditionally conformist kind of environment. So he doesn't wear a shark's jersey. No, no, no. He wears a Hartford Whalers jersey. Now, this is where it's gonna get a little sporty talky. Hartford Whalers have not existed in probably, I think, over 10 years. Easily over 10 years. They were a a beloved New England franchise that uh, went belly up. And, unfortunately, is just uh, a non-existent entity. Except for the fact that this guy decided, even though the color scheme kind of matches, this guy decides that he's going to wear it as part of his I'm rooting for the Sharks outfit with really the only thematic connection being that they both live in the sea. <laughs> so, 
So that was one guy. The other guy was like a very outdoorsy, rugged type of dude. But he comes to a hockey game with a full hiking backpack. Like, he just got off the trail. He just got off the trail. He wanders down off the mountain, and he's like, what's up, man? Dude, we're down 2-1. We need to get better. We need to have be better, more disciplined point play. If we go D to D, we can set her up ice rush way more. We need to crack their left wing lock by aggressive forechecking. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to leave my bag in the car. I'm going to go right back out. So, you know, I'm just going to go check it. Check out the game real quick. Back on the trail. I think there might have been a yoga mat sticking out, too. That might be me trying to kill the lily. But I think there may or may not have been. I'm going to give it a 30% chance that there was a yoga mat sticking out of his bag. Uh, so that was super fun. Uh, so we have Twit with the Sharks game. Uh, I don't know if the chat's working. I think the chat might be busted. But last thing I'll say. And again, I apologize for getting everybody up because it's not the kind of show that we normally do on Friday. If you were checking this out for the first time, because I know I mentioned it when Scott Johnson had me on, um, this is not normally the show. It's not normally just me horse and all. Uh, the reason why I'm out here is I can't tell you. I can't tell you why. I'll be able to tell you soon, but I can't tell you now. Uh... It is a thing, thing, but I mean I don't know. It's hard to exp it's hard to describe it. There's uh, yeah, you will know soon, and uh, in many ways you will know when I know. I will know when I can talk about it. But know this: whenever I can't talk about stuff, it's not because I don't want to talk about stuff. It's because there are mitigating factors to the talking about of stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, hopefully soon. In the meantime, same bad time, same bad channel. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap things up here because Brett is literally trying to sleep five feet from me. And he was very, very gracious to uh, help me out in letting me take his room. However, if I can't really do the show, there's not really a point to doing it. So, chat's busted. Thank you very, very much, guys, uh, for, for for the true believer showing up, uh, and thank you for listening to my story about the hockey hipster because it really delighted me to no end. Uh, until next week, folks. Please don't die. <laughs>